I'm Jesse Schuweiler, principal at Sage Creek. Um, and I'll just start by oh saying, uh, yeah. it's okay, it's all good. Um, I just want to start by saying, uh, Ilea, congratulations. And I don't know how we're going to follow that, but that, that was an amazing story. Uh, thank you so much. Um, thank you to the chamber and thank you to all the amazing sponsors for celebrating our students. And it's wonderful to be with you this morning. Um, before I bring uh, Samantha up, uh, a few words. Uh, at Sage Creek, we strive to live up to our core values every single day. And we call that being our best, establishing community, showing respect, and taking responsibility. These are core values we try to live, live up to every single day. Samantha represents Sage Creek today as a student who showcases these core values on a daily basis. Samantha is a true leader on our campus. She acts with intent and integrity. She takes initiative and follows through on her commitments. From organizing peaceful climate protests on campus to working with city leaders on sustainable gardens on campus, it's obvious Samantha is committed to being her very best. Samantha was selected for this recognition for demonstrating outstanding character, making a difference on our campus and in the community with sincerity and passion. Samantha brings a positive attitude to school, is always quick with a smile, and exemplifi exemplifies our mantra of daring to be great. Her enthusiasm and passion for the environment have inspired both students and staff alike at Sage Creek. I look forward to watching her finish her senior year and seeing where she goes from here, knowing she's gonna have, continue to have an impact on our community. At this time, I'd like to bring up Samantha Lowe, Mother Sophia Lum, and English teacher Rachel Marino Ott. My name is Samantha Lowe, and I'm here with very, three very amazing people. Um, my mother, Sophia Lum, uh, my amazing AP Lit teacher, Ms. Marino Ott, and my amazing principal, Mr. Schuweiler. Um, I'm standing before all of you today because my parents' sacrifice and diligence, as well as their ability to endure hours and hours of me asking the same exact question over and over again. Are we there yet? Growing up, I was very fortunate that my parents brought me and my brother along to road trips to national parks, patiently suffering our backseat boredom and fights. Between Yosemite and Zion, Crater Lake and the Redwoods, I developed a deep sense of respect for the natural world and a yearning to conserve its beauty. Fast forward to high school, I was given the opportunity to share my values with my peers through my environmental club. As president, I worked to create an inclusive community where students can feel safe and are educated about local and global environmental issues and empowered to enact eco-friendly change on campus and in their own lives. From organizing sustainable cleanups to crafting fundraisers to raise money for fire victims to spearheading a water bottle refiltration campaign, I try to connect my peers with problems and encourage them to be part of the solution. Climate change, and with that climate justice, is no doubt one of the largest issues in our world today, and we will all need to work together to be able to be part of its solution. The biggest lesson I've learned is to ask myself not, are we there yet, but rather, are we there yet? And more importantly, smile when the answer is no and continue to work towards my destination. I use this question to ensure that what I have done is done to the best of my ability. And to, oh, and asking are we there yet reminds me to be my best, or should I say Bobcat best? and start to improve, whether that means being a better daughter, a better student, a better teacher, or a better friend. I hope to study environmental science at the University of San Diego, California. In the field of environmental science, the answer is, unfortunately, no, when it comes to implementing effective and <laughs> implementing effective measures to prevent irreversible climate change, because we aren't there yet, but that doesn't mean that we'll stop trying. I would like to extend a huge thank you for the Chamber of Commerce for the honor of being up here today. Thank you for allowing me to share my story. Good morning, my name is Rachel Marino-Watt. I'm an English teacher at Sage Creek. Um, I have my remarks. 
Um, I knew about Samantha Lowe before she came into my AP literature classroom. In fact, she's been impressing my colleagues since she was a freshman. Samantha's intelligence, wit, kindness, passion for the earth, and activist soul have not gone unnoticed by anyone in the school. Samantha is not a person who talks because she likes to hear herself, so when she speaks, it is with deliberation, consideration, and nearly always an advocacy for another person. Earlier this year when she told me about her summer vacation, it was a story about how her summer assignment helped her to meet others and create connections halfway across the world. It was not until later I found out that she also attended the protests in Hong Kong fighting for justice, autonomy, and civil liberty. Recently, Samantha led the organization of the Sage Creek arm of the worldwide climate school strike on September 20th. From discussing plans with many different teachers, uh, several meetings with administration, and repurposing back to school dance posters as protest signs, Samantha approached the planning with dignity, integrity, passion, and respect. Though she's a quiet woman herself, her words and presence are large. She's excited about the power of citizens' voices to create change. Not content with waiting until she's older, Samantha is committing to making those changes now, and for that, I salute her. Hi, I just want to say to my daughter, Samantha, that I'm so very proud of you for always standing up for what is right and for just standing up for what you believe in and uh, always protecting our most fragile family member, Mother Earth. Um, for those that don't know her, she's innately empathetic and compassionate. She's very passionate about helping others and especially the environment. Um, she's volunteered numerous hours as president of the Environmental Club and as a Scripps Hospital volunteer and um, at our city trails and beach cleanups. Um, it just makes her happy to be out there, to be connected with Mother Nature. Um, as a family of a second generation immigrant, um, I uh, extend my congratulations to Aliyah for, for doing what she's doing. Um, my daughter has the good fortune of being in this um, second generation family and uh, she's not taking for granted for what she has and for what's around her. And so I'm very, very proud of her for that. Um, she's really a great listener, and I think that's her strength, and I think that makes her a really great leader. Um, and she, and the, the most uh, special thing about her is that she is very modest and very humble. And um, so I really want to thank Ms. Marina Ott for really noticing her um, for what she's done. Um, so that really means a lot to us, and it's, so it's a huge honor to be up here with um, our principal, our teacher, Ms. Marina Ott, and my daughter to receive this honor from the Chamber of Commerce. So thank you, um, Mr. Schuweiler, for supporting my daughter, Samantha, and also for the city of Carlsbad for having the vision of having a planned community and making a great community, and the Chamber of Commerce for supporting this community and making this community really great. And thank you guys very so much for having all of us here. Thank you. Thank you.